Hey guys, Jim Rose here with Sound Pro Live, www.rpmdynamics.com. Today we've got something really cool for you. A bunch of you have been asking since you've seen the record solutions coming out for the Midas Digital, how soon is it till we're going to be able to do this on a laptop? And uh, what we've got going on today is I've got a MacBook Air right now. My MacBook Air is currently doing a 48 channel 96K record off of a Midas Pro 2C. You can see we've got 48 channels running audio through the AES-50 stream. Uh, the way I'm accomplishing this is I am running two channels from my uh, iPod here back into the console and then we're streaming that out of 48 channels uh, of AES-50 from the console. The way we've managed to make this happen is we currently at RPM Dynamics have a pre-release of the Sonnet Echo Express Pro chassis which you can see right here with the cover off of it and we're running two Lynx cards in it. This, this, uh, this box right here is basically a two card PCIe slot chassis that converts these two cards uh, over Thunderbolt into a user, usable peripheral for the MacBook Air. Uh, we're taking the, the audio from the cards, running it into the computer and through the same Thunderbolt chain we're coming out of this uh, chassis and we're running it into a Sonnet uh, Express Card 34 adapter into one of their Express Card 34 to Firewire 800 adapters and running that into this OWC hard drive case. The hard drive case is filled with, I've got it fitted with uh, uh, the drives that we use in our Mac Pro uh, solutions. It's got two five and a quarter drives, they're 72 speed uh, high buffer drives, the ones that we found function properly in the in the record solutions in the other rigs. Uh, the rig is running flawless. Uh, these boxes currently are unavailable to public, but they're scheduled for a launch late May, beginning June. There's going to be a couple other things that are coming out, but right now, for those of you with uh, Pro 2s, this box is going to be able to allow you to do a 48 channel multi track off of your Pro 2s, Pro 2Cs, or any Midas for that matter, up to 48 channels through one peripheral box. Uh, there's a couple little things about the box if you're going to be doing this is as you can see the Cat5 jacks are really close to the top of the cover here. So uh, I've got the cover off to show this to you. The cover that goes on these boxes is a, an aluminum cover right here. It goes over the top of it. The boxes, the boxes from Sonnet are actually built really really well. It's, they're rugged and they're effect, they're they're functioning perfect for me. I've been testing these things for a little while now. We've got some other Sonnet products we're going to show you that are doing some more uh, Thunderbolt stuff. This is one of the issues you guys will run into if you're trying to uh, use this box for the Midas Record solution. But uh, other than that little issue there, the actual functionality is there. The Lynx cards are currently out of production right now. They won't be back into the market for another month or two while, so Lynx is out of them. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that this solution is up and coming. One of the other things that I want to let you guys know is with these cover issues, uh, it's not too tough to build these things between using the Lynx cards and the Sonnets, but uh, at RPM Dynamics we're going to be offering, we're a dealer of Sonnet, we're a dealer of, of the Lynx cards, and we have a, a lot of time and testing right now into the AES-50 solutions for multiple things that you'll be seeing some more things coming up. Uh, we're going to be offering uh, these solutions that you can purchase these boxes uh, pre-fitted with, with AES-50 Cat5 jacks coming out of them out of the top of the chassis so that it'll be a, a plug and play unit for you that you can just take these boxes plug them into your uh, MacBook Air, your Mac Mini, your what, MacBook Pro, whatever it might be and be able to do recording smack off the, off the cuff and you're going to be able to buy these boxes uh, pre-built with the uh, modifications done to them for about the same price as you can buy the, the street prices of the, the pieces separately. So uh, if you want to check that stuff out, you can contact us at uh, RPM Dynamics. It's www.rpmdynamics.com. Um, and just stay tuned for more of this stuff. As we uh, come up with more of these solutions and more of these pieces, we're going to be showing this stuff to you over SoundPro Live so that you're aware of these, these, uh, the functionality of this Thunderbolt technology as it moves forward. Like I said, these things are, it's working great for us. It's, uh, you just, AES-50 has a weird handshake in the beginning to get it talking. Those of you that are using it know exactly what I'm talking about. Once you get past the handshake though, the, the stability is great and it works. Uh, Lynx is w working currently on doing some 
uh, driver updates for their links uh, their Lynx mixers on there to make them a little more functional for the Mac community. So there's some stuff that's moving on that's going to, as time goes on, now that this solution is coming out, uh, the manufacturers of the pieces are working to try to make it more functional for our community and have these things work, you know, like this instead of the, the two minutes of, you know, getting them to do the handshake in the beginning before it actually starts recording. But other than that, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that the playback and record for this are functionally the same either way around. It works both ways around. And uh, we're really excited to be able to show this stuff to you first on SoundPro Live. Stay tuned. We're going to have some more stuff uh, showing you things such as a, a Waves, uh, Waves multi-rack server running through a Pro 6 through the KVM that basically is like running all of your native plugins right on a Pro 6 console, which is another thing people have been asking about uh, due to the lack of plugins that Midas offers on their consoles. Now you have the ability to run your favorite stuff right on the, on the Midas uh, consoles into this uh, 96K line again. Stay tuned for us. We're going to have a bunch more stuff coming at you, but uh, hopefully this is something you guys are really interested in. I know I've been thrilled working on this stuff, and I'm glad to be able to show it to you, and that SoundPro Live can be one of the first to get this across to our community. Thanks a lot.